uh, the copyright remains with the author. And we don't own the copyright for the journals we have published in our collections. It's with uh, none of the publishers. Um, we use the Creative Commons uh, copyright. Uh, it's written there, you can read it in, in your own time. Um, and uh, the way that the publications are paid for is by uh, publication fees. And the publication fees are covered by the author or by the research fund. Um, there are no subscription fees um, paid that the libraries have to pay. Um, at the moment, there is a huge increase in the number of open access journals. Uh, as you can see, in 2005, there were uh, 1,500 uh, journals in, in any discipline, uh, and this has already gone up to uh, 6,500 in July 2011. Uh, if we look at the disciplines uh, in which these open access journals um, are, the, the largest part is uh, social science.
giant need to work directly in Helm in, uh, in the port. So, uh, this is what I asked you before, open access and PDPN. Uh, we are not out of peer-reviewed journals. If we take medical science and biology, we need 7,000 uh, journals. There are 10,000 of those. Uh, there are 10,000 verbal open access journals. And 3,000 of those are in uh, medical science and biology. Um, if we look amongst all these 300,000 journals uh, or journals that have either personalized medicine or preventive care or preventive medicine, uh, it boils down to 47 journals. And as you can see, 15 of those are in China. And the majority of these 15 are also in Chinese. It's, well, I don't know how your Chinese is, mine is it. it's plus. <laughs> Uh, and here are the other uh, numbers. Um, sorry. If we look then, uh, which of those are open access? 